Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing the 90s kid tag. So don't be a loser and keep watching <laughs> this video because we're all that and a bag of potato chips. Oh, wow. Whatever. <laughs> All right, so if you're new here, my name is Claire. This is my channel. Come on in, sit down, make yourself comfortable. This is my husband, Gianni, and we are both 90s babies. I was born in 1991. I was born in 92. 92, so we were quite young in the 90s, um, but we still got a lot of great 90s uh, influence in our lives, as well as those early 2000s, which I think 90s kids can count like early 2000s culture still, you know, a millennial. So we have 20 questions that will hopefully make you feel very nostalgic. I will leave all the questions down below if you want to do this tag on your channel because I think it's pretty fun. Let's get going. Question number one. What was your favorite TV show? I'd have to say, um, Cat Dog. Cat Dog, mm, good one. I would say All That. That was a good show. There's so many good shows. There like, were, it was a really good 90s time. 90s TV was a very... For, TV, for like kids TV. I loved all that. I loved the Amanda show. Yes. It was so funny. Number two, what is your favorite 90s song? Ooh. Um, probably, is the thong song? The thong song? Is that a 90s song? It might be. I think it might be in the 2000s. I, I remember it as like being part of my childhood. As like, a child, yeah. I would say I would go with probably either Hanson or the Spice Girls on this one. I was very, very into the Spice Girls. Probably my favorite Spice Girls song is um, Spice Up Your Life. I think that's my favorite one. What was your favorite commercial slash advertisement? You'd think we'd have a lot because they'd be really ingrained in us. I'd say my favorite were like candy commercials or... <laughs> or cereal commercials. Yeah, cereal you commercials know? too. <laughs> Why does it seem like cereal like is cookie. real dramatic as a kid? Like Cookie Crisp? Cookie, is that what you're going to yeah, say? Yeah, Cookie Crisp. <laughs> Number four, InSync or Backstreet Boys? One, two, three, Backstreet InSync. Boys. I mean, Backstreet Boys came first, but I think InSync's music was more like dancey. I had you know? Backstreet Boys, there were, I mean, Back I guess to Black on a cassette. Back to Black? You mean Black and Blue? Maybe, that was... You don't remember. Back to Black is Amy Winehouse. Uh, yeah, Black and Blue. Black and Blue, I think it's. I had that on cassette. No, I, No Strings Attached was such a good CD, dude. It had a lot of bangers on it. Like, it was good dance music. Like, maybe Backstreet Boys for ballads, but in sync all the way, man. All right. What was your favorite musical artist? I really was into Michael Jackson in the 90s. As a kid, because of your parents? Yeah. I did. I, we had, I we had like, like, you know, lots of stuff. Dangerous came out in 92. Mm. When you were born. <laughs> I would say, yeah, Hanson. Hanson or the Spice Girls. I actually recently went and saw Hanson and they are still going strong AF. Like, I'm not even kidding. They've been putting out music this entire time. Their sound has just gotten amazing. Like, check them out, man. Mbop for life. Did you collect anything back then? And what did you collect? I collected a lot of weird stuff. Stickers. I had like books of stickers and journals that I never wrote in or that I would write one page in and then it was like soiled so then I wouldn't want to write in it again. You know? Like, ugh, like why was stationery so exciting as a kid? Like with a little lock on it or gel pens or pogs? I collected a lot of stuff. Did you have pogs? No, but I did do like Pokemon cards. Mmm, there you go. And like, I don't know, Yu-Gi-Oh came probably, like, probably early 2000s, but I did that a lot too as yeah. a kid. That's not surprising probably to anybody watching. <laughs> How many Tamagotchis did you go through? I think I had like three. I had a lot of them. I had like one that was like the Tamagotchi brand one that was like expensive at the time. And it was like in an, it like was an eggshell color. And that one I had to like take really good care of. But then my mom would buy us like the cheap off-brand ones. And I remember I had a puppy. And it was like in a basket and it was like a like a black and white spotted dog that you like flipped up and it was inside but like the case of it instead of being an egg it was like a giant puppy basket. Number eight, what was your favorite video game slash console? Um, 
Like, it would have been like your first one, right? The Game Boy. Game Boy. Yeah, that was, that was my bread and butter every day. What game did you play? Pokemon. I never played video games. My mom wasn't into it. We weren't allowed to have them. But I did play things on the computer. I, I got down on some uh, Oregon Trail. That happened. And I had a girl in the neighborhood who was my friend named Amanda, and I would go over to her house, and she had a Nintendo 64, and we would play Donkey Kong. Oh, funny. <laughs> Number nine is what's your favorite cereal? My mom never let me have any of the fun stuff. But once in a while, I would, I would get down on Golden Grahams, or Cinnamon Toast Crunch, or Honeycomb. Do you remember Honeycomb? Yeah. Is that what it's called? And of course, this is actually ridiculous. It's <laughs> it's the Meyer. If you're from the Midwest, Meyer is a big like chain of grocery stores. The Meyer version of Lucky Charms were called Magic Stars, and I still remember this. They were in a purple box that had like a rabbit on top with like um, a magic hat and a like a little magic wand. <laughs> and I loved me some Magic Stars. I like Apple Jacks. Ah, oh, Apple Jacks. God, we need to go cereal shopping. We should we should have like. A cereal taste test video where we taste us all the cereals from our childhood. We would be so full of sugar. Who was your 90s crush growing up? I can say this with complete certainty that it was Zachary Binks from Hocus Pocus. Not the cat, obviously. But when he's a boy and he's got the billowy <laughs> yeah. white shirt and the long hair. He transforms back. Oh my yeah. gosh, Zachary Binks. My OG crush for sure. And Zachary Hansen, who I still have a total crush on. I follow him on Instagram. He's lots amazing. Lots of Zachs for you. Yeah, lots of Zach. Well, everyone was named Zach back then, weren't they? Okay, who was your 90s crush? Topanga. Mm. From Boy Meets World. That is a solid choice. Still the same though. I have like still a crush on Topanga these days. She was hot. What was your favorite Disney Channel movie? Like Disney Channel? Yeah, like from the Disney Channel. Oh. I have a lot. Do you want me to go first? Yeah. Definitely, uh, um, Xenon. Yeah. <laughs> Zetus Lapidus. <laughs> Zetus Lapidus. My supernova girl. And, I want to uh, get Disney Plus just so we can watch all I don't, these. What was the one? The rollerblading. Oh, gosh. I never watched the sports ones. Those weren't good for me. I found it. It's <laughs> Brink. There you go. I do remember that, I yeah. guess. That was... I, I never, that I never got excited over the sports ones. What was your favorite network? Disney, Cartoon Network, or Nickelodeon? I would say Nickelodeon. Me too, hands down. I don't know why Disney felt really like accessible to me at home with all like, we had lots of VHSs of like Disney movies and lots of cartoons on the Disney Channel, but Nickelodeon felt cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like their shows were like a little bit edgier. They had- like Legends of the Hidden Temple. They had like funnier stuff. What was the one? Oh my gosh, what was that show that was like sketches, but they were like dolls? Action League now. Action League now. What was it in though? Kablam. Kablam! Kablam! That's what it was called. I haven't thought of that in ages. We're about to watch Kablam Whoa. tonight. Okay, we're about to drink a bottle of wine and watch Kablam after the kids <laughs> go to bed. Best idea ever. With Melt Men. The power. Oh! Oh melt. yeah, Meltman! <laughs> I really hope some of you out there are like, yes, I remember that too! Number 13, weirdest fashion trend. I don't, there were a lot of weird things happening in the 90s. I would say Jinko jeans. Oh, those were really bad, but I feel like, was that in the 90s? Yeah. Those Thanks were so. bad. I also think like, um, the spaghetti strap tank tops with the t-shirt underneath. Yeah. Or, um, no, but that wasn't that bad. It, or that weird. I don't know, lots of accessories. Peace signs, yin yangs. I had a lot of like costumey type jewelry. I'd have all my rings on that had like my mood ring, my peace sign ring, my yin yang ring, my earrings that were like little cherries, and then I'd have like the choker on too. Like a lot of stuff. Yeah, a lot of A lot of stuff there. Number 16, what was your early morning weekend TV shows that you were allowed to watch? It was a lot of Fox Kids, so it'd be like... 
Ours was, we'd do like the one Saturday morning on ABC. I was really do you remember obsessed that? with Pokemon as a child. Pokemon. Then, yeah. <laughs> Pokemon was like my main. Oh, Saturday and what, I loved Seventh Heaven. Do you remember Seventh Heaven? Yeah. Oh, I do. that got me too. I love, <laughs> I love Seventh Heaven. Uh, favorite McDonald's Happy Meal toy. Obviously, teeny beanies. Do you remember when the Beanie Babies like were yeah. huge and then McDonald's started doing teeny beanies in there? I remember us like going and waiting at McDonald's like just to get teeny beanies and my mom would be like, can we make sure that like everybody gets the same and like she would like try really hard to make sure everybody got like a good teeny beanie. Number 18, what was your favorite book? Harry Potter. Oh yeah, Harry Potter. My third grade teacher read the first one to us in class, which would have been the year 2000. Right. But before that, I would say like I read a lot of the American Girl books. I read, my parents read to me every single night, like till I was grown, and then I would read to them. We did a lot of reading. I was a hefty reader as a child. Yeah. Like I read a lot of like... We did all of the Chronicles of Narnia when mm -hmm. I was young, like we did every book in a row. Uh, Jer everything from Lord of the Rings, mm -hmm. I read as a kid. Lord of the Rings is good. I didn't read Lord of the Rings until I was older. It's a, it's a long book. Yeah. But there was a lot of times I didn't finish it. Like you'd start one and you Or I did also in that time period, I did like Ramona Quimby books, Are You There God, It's Me, Margaret, the classic girl books. Um, what else? Like Captain Underpants. Yeah, Captain I love Captain Underpants as a little kid. I kept all of them too. I have them for Fox for when he's older. Number 19, what would you watch when you got home? From school? Yeah. This is embarrassing for me. Oprah. I watched Oprah like every day. Like maybe not when I was a little kid, but like like fifth grade. So maybe the early 2000s and like all through middle school. I watched Oprah when I got home like every day. And I also, okay, this is an after school, but tell me if this is real for any of you guys. If you stayed home sick, you watched The Price is Right at 11. Did you do that too? Yeah. That was like, gosh, I'm so sick, but at least I get to watch The Price is Right. <laughs> watched a lot of like trashy daytime television. Maury. Like Jerry Springer. Oh, I never watched Jerry Springer. I was always like offended by it. But there were some Maury days in there too. My yeah. sister, my sister is three years older than me, so sometimes I watch things that maybe were more appropriate for her. I mean, is Maury appropriate for anybody? No. Okay, number 20. What was your favorite thing from the 90s that's no longer available today? It's kind of like, okay, like VHSs are fun and nostalgic, but like I would rather stream something. Okay, what about, I guess there's probably foods that aren't available anymore. Yeah, that's- Like what, like Pepsi Ice or whatever? I feel like the sitcom has changed to a point where it's like, it was, because it was so like, I mean you had, especially like black sitcoms, like uh, Martin and- Or Monique, Girlfriend. Randy Shaw. Yeah, okay. It's that- there was, do you think there was more of it in the 90s? Yeah, definitely more. More, more black sitcoms? Yeah. Definitely. I feel it. I totally, I watched Girlfriends all the time on like the WB, the WB yeah. channel, remember that? I think it's like the CW now Yeah. or something, but yeah. I used to watch Girlfriends and I used to watch um, the Parkers. Do you remember the Parkers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the funniest show ever, dude. Alright you guys, that was the 90s tag. I hope you enjoyed taking this stroll down memory lane with us. Of course, as we were small, small children in the 90s, so these answers will totally vary and I think that's really cool. So I would love to hear from you guys if you can relate to any of the answers that we gave. I'd love to hear it. So leave me a comment down below and of course come on back for more mom stuff, lady stuff, and life stuff. I post new videos every Wednesday and every Sunday. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Peace out. <laughs> Did that bother you? <laughs> he like died when I came out with my little, with my hair and my suspenders. He just like looked at me and just, I could feel his soul being like, why? I would dress like this all the time. I, I do know. dress like this all the time. Eek. Whatever. <laughs>